Crimean bridge is under threat. Expert outlines purpose of Ukrainian strike on Zankoy. The Ukrainian strike on the airfield in occupied Zankoy is a preparation for a large-scale attack on Crimea and a subsequent strike on the Crimean bridge, stated the Ukrainian expert Alexander Musienko in a commentary to RBC Ukraine. According to the expert, the goal is to destroy the enemy's air defense systems and open the northern gates of Crimea. The expert clarified that globally, this should be interpreted as preparation for a large-scale attack on Crimea to disable particularly important and valuable objects for the enemy. I would even say that it is a preparation for an attack on the Crimean bridge. This algorithm involves disabling air defense systems and radars, after which more damaging strikes are delivered to the enemy. So I would say that this is the main goal, Musienko said. A guest on Russian state TV has decried Ukraine's attack on a large Russian airfield in annexed Crimea that is reported to have killed up to 30 Russian personnel and wounded a further 80 people. Russian military expert Vladislav Shurigin said during an appearance on full contact with Vladimir Solovyov that the strike served as a rehearsal for a future Ukrainian attack on the Kirsch Strait Bridge, which connects Russia with the Crimean Peninsula. Host Solovyov is one of the most prominent figures in Kremlin-backed media. The Kirsch Strait Bridge serves as a key supply route for Russia's forces and is Moscow's sole land link with Crimea, the Black Sea Peninsula annexed by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2014. Shurigin said that the attack on the Russian Navy's Zankoy airbase, which is reported to house the 39th Helicopter Regiment of the 27th Mixed Aviation Division, served as target practice for a future Ukrainian strike on the Kirsch Strait Bridge, also known as the Crimean Bridge. Shurigin claimed Kyiv used seven ATA CMS missiles in the attack on Wednesday and that the strike was a rehearsal to test how Russia's air defence works. He said an attack on the Kirsch Bridge will most likely take place on May the 7th, although he did not elaborate on why he highlighted that particular date. Two people have been killed in a Russian attack on the city of Dnipro on April 19. Six more have been killed in the city of Senelnikov, including two children, and 29 other residents of the oblast have been injured. The five-story building in Dnipro was partially destroyed and on fire, potentially trapping people under the rubble. Two infrastructure facilities were damaged too. In Senelnikov, four private houses were partially destroyed, and eight more were damaged. The region had survived another massive attack, with Ukrainian air defense forces shooting down some of the enemy targets, including nine missiles in the morning and two more overnight. However, some missiles still managed to hit their targets. In Pavlorad, an enterprise was damaged, while the cities of Nikopol and Marinets were shelled with artillery in the evening, resulting in damage to two private houses. The number of casualties continues to rise as the rescue operation is ongoing. The Russians also attacked the Nikopol district. In the evening, they shelled the town of Nikopol with artillery and Marinets Romata overnight, damaging two private houses. Unfortunately, the number of the dead and injured will grow. We are continuing to clear the rubble of the damaged houses. Aid stations have been set up on the ground. Psychologists are at work. The police are accepting statements from those affected, Interior Minister Iyer Klemenko said. Thank you.